Yeah, hi friends. Today I want to share my views about uh, a recent unfortunate event which have the country is going through. That's the death of uh, Supreme Court Justice Anthony Scalia. Uh, he was a great legal scholar and also a very influential person on Supreme Court. And I just got the opportunity as a law student to read a couple of his books. One of his uh, uh, was Making Your Case and the second book I read uh, that was Reading Law. So he was a very influential scholar, especially in the uh, conservative uh, legal movement. And, uh, and he has really uh, encouraged people to think about the black letter of law following law under conservative principles and uh, and also to interpret the statutes which uh, we as a law student have to first understand those concepts and those philosophies which uh, people have attached to it so this was a really very unfortunate event and uh, so my deepest condolences for him so so as this uh, event happens, so, so the next step, as you all know, Supreme Court is consist of nine justices. So now the president have to nominate uh, the new justice on the bench. Uh, but unfortunately, there has also been uh, somewhat a blockage, a political blockage from, uh, from Republican Party. And I I just don't want to take any sides of Republican or Democrats uh, because some of the people have raised questions. Okay, means Democrat have also did the same blockage uh, when the Republican president was in office. Uh, so, so it goes on both ways. Um, but my main uh, thing I just want to share means it's about constitution it's not about political party or either people belong to one political party or another so based on if you were republican you were thinking okay obama should not uh, nominate any person or or just don't do any work because he is just uh, a president of one year left term so he just go out and do nothing uh, but I think that's a dangerous precedent either for a Republican president or or a Democratic president because uh, because it's about the system. What kind of system we want to continue with as a United States as it's a great country and great constitution. I think the oldest democracy uh, because of its uh, experience of two more than 250 years. Uh, because of that we just say it's an oldest democracy so we have to understand and respect the constitution which this country is, is standing on and respect a lot than the political parties because the constitution provides that that a president is appointed for four years uh, sorry elected for four years with the with the mandate of the people and that four years is the president to put forth his policies and any kind of nominations and with the advice and consent of the Senate that nomination is approved yeah sure means uh, Senate have its own prerogative that they can reject any nominated person by the president but they cannot say that that okay means uh, whatever you will do any kind of work we don't care because you have to care because the same people who have elected this president have also elected the senators so that's the duty of the president to nominate any uh, justices to fill that position and also it's uh, the duty of that senate to consider that even if they want to reject that that's a different point but at first place you cannot reject that without even uh, looking at who is this person is it doesn't make any sense because i am afraid about building such a precedent for futures 
it doesn't matter in future both political parties president will come and go it's not about those political parties in future republican president may come or or in future democrat president may come for the next 50 years we have to think about or or until this earth exists or this country exists we have to uh, we have to think about the constitution because that's the main document regardless of who comes and goes it doesn't matter we have to follow this check and balance system which is already in place and that's a good system we proud of uh, we are proud of so that the president cannot have a one way say of his and also the senate doesn't have one way say of them so we have this check and balance system so but if we are not even following that check and balance system i don't understand then then what we should follow then then i think it uh, it's a kind of a hypocritic logic we are we are just thinking about if we are thinking okay for for any president regardless of parties in last their their last one year we would not allow them to work out why because we think that uh, okay means people should have say the next president should have say then i think with that same logic we also have uh, it would be also not unreasonable to think that even for a couple of years why just one year just for last two years that same president who would be termed out in the in the in the next coming two years he should not appoint or he should not work i think then with the same logic we should just change the whole whole system about electing a president we should only have president for one term for maybe a six years term for a six year it makes sense with the same logic so i am just uh, thinking about that when the people think about such a logic they just stick to that and just change the system about that just don't be hypocritic and just say okay no 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 because our party it's outside so there is a different party's president okay then we would say that and then uh, when our our party's president comes then we would have uh, then we would say okay it's about constitution no it's not like that it doesn't matter whoever is the president if you are talking about a wrong president set in past either by democrats republican or like any person in the system you have to think about two wrongs doesn't make a right that doesn't make any sense if one person or couple of parties have done something wrong in past and just continue on violating the constitution uh so i think it doesn't make any sense that the next party should do that no if there is a wrong we should correct that and that system should not be followed because ultimately it's about the country it's not about any single party so i think we have to concentrate on the constitution itself and whatever the duties which have been attained to and 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 when these people the president the senators the house of representatives take the oath for they have to follow the constitution if they want to do these kind of blockage and violate the constitution i think then they should sit sit at their home and then they can just play these games <laughs> on the streets it doesn't make any sense you, we have to run this country forever so so i think if we just start building these kind of precedents then either we have to follow this president honestly regardless of who comes in power then cut the power of the then cut the term of the president uh, president for only 6 years then because if we honestly have to follow the policy just do that i think we should not have the hypocritic thinking of okay when it comes uh, another party's president then we would change it so i just uh, like that you should think about it and whatever views you have you can just uh, put uh, below these videos uh, and also if you can send me your suggestions on the email so i would be happy to look at that and uh, and try to improve this video blog 
Thank you.